recently we've had high interest rates and high inflation. I assume you've got through that reasonably well, but now we are going to go into an era where interest rates are probably going to come down and inflation seems to be coming down. Uh, how are you going to reposition your company and deal with that different economic uh, consequence? Obviously, um, these um, changes produce a high uh, volatility of the economic environment, uh, and certainly we spoke earlier about the geopolitical environment. So in a highly volatile and highly unpredictable environment, uh, it is important uh, to um, take a strategy of low risk. And so essentially what we have said, uh, we have built now a platform that is working very well. We are the biggest insurer now uh, of uh, uh, enterprises across the world. We are one of the biggest in Europe. We want to make sure that we scale up this business more in the next phase. Okay, let's talk about the economy. Uh, the United States has a uh, situation where we have reasonably good growth in 2023, over 3%. Uh, Europe has not grown quite as well. Why do you think the United States seems to be pulling away from the European and Chinese economies in terms of our growth? Is it something about the American business environment that the United States has recovered from COVID maybe better than uh, Europe did or China did? So I think there's a couple of factors. Number one uh, is fiscal stimulus. The fiscal stimulus in the US was much higher than it was in Europe. And obviously fiscal stimulus leads to more demand. Secondly, um, there is a lot of uh, onshoring happening or re reshoring happening from somewhere else into the US, which is obviously something that creates uh, growth as well. And then thirdly, when you look at your demography, um, this is much healthier than what we have in Europe. So do you worry about Russia, Ukraine as a potential insurance risk? I mean, we worry a lot about these risks because A, uh, these risks do create claims and so uh, the Russia-Ukraine situation did create a lot of claims on the political risk side, on the marine side, on the aviation side. Um, and uh, so for us it's important uh, to look out for them and certainly ought to see where the next crisis comes from. Because um, even if the Ukraine-Russia crisis was to be resolved, I'm sure the next crisis is coming. Look at what is happening in the Red Sea now which again has massive implications around um, uh, maritime transport, uh, war cover for maritime transport, supply chain risk and so on. So I uh, project myself in a world now in which we see many, many more of these crises happening and uh, we need to deal with it.